7 News at 6. Authorities looking for a Sherwood man who's been missing for more than a week. What the man's mother has to say and where police say the trail went cold. Plus, a highway funding bill stalling in the state Senate today. What's next for the bill and what the state could lose if funding isn't passed? And proposals to limit baiting deer and elk are being considered by the Arkansas Game and Fish Commission. What the proposals entail. The news starts now. From the station that's on your side, this is Channel 7 News at 6. We'll never stop looking. It's just a matter of, of what leads that we have and, and hopefully uh, from the newscast, maybe we can get somebody that goes, hey, I saw him or hey, I know him. Police are still looking for leads tonight and asking for the public's help in finding a missing Sherwood man. Today, Channel 7's Serafina Brooks spoke with a man's mother about what's been an agonizing experience. Serafina. Beth, it's been 10 days since the Sherwood man walked away from his home, and today police and his family are asking for the community's help. A mother's emotional plea. Just call me. Let me know you're okay. And an ongoing investigation. He has no credit cards, no car, nothing else that we can really track, and then if he shut off his phone, then we can't use that either, so... We have nothing to go on. And the man at the center of it all, Tony Underwood. Today marks the 10th day since Underwood walked away from his Sherwood home, something his mother, Linda, says is unlike her son, who she says if suffers from mental himself, illness. Normally he's an easygoing, happy-go-lucky guy. Underwood's mother says Tony always kept to himself and stayed in his room. She says the day he went missing, she received a strange phone call from her son. He told me that he had took all, all his medication and he'd be dead in a few minutes. And that's the last thing I've heard from him. Police who have been tracking Underwood's cell phone in order to find him say they lost the signal to his phone just this past Monday. It appeared on May 16th in Faulkner County off Highway 64. Uh, Faulkner County Sheriff's Office assistants going out looking in the area, but they were unable to find anything. And so far with no leads or breaks in the case. It's hell. Just sitting here not knowing where he is or if he's okay. Police continue their search, and Linda continues to pray for her son's safe return home. I love you. Again, take a look. If you have any information on Tony Underwood's whereabouts, you're asked to call the Sherwood Police Department. Beth. All right, Serafina Brooks tonight. Thank you. Sherwood Police say on average they deal with three to four missing persons cases each year. Your Metro